Hello brown ladies, two brown girls here, and we are here with this brownie minute to talk about nude lips. Woo! Per request. Per request. <laughs> now the funny part about this is our versions, our definitions of nudes are very different. Different. So you guys will get a couple of nudes that you can play around with and determine if they work for you. As you know, your nude lips, we talked about this a little bit in our favorites video, your nude lips is determined by two things. Number one, of course, the undertone of your lips, um, and number two, your skin tone, because you know the more, the deeper your skin tone is, the more ashy colors can look. Um, and so just a couple things to keep in mind. So I have a few different um, nudes. First, this is like a real nude. It's very, very sheer. It is Fresh Brew by MAC. It's very, very, very sheer. Like you can barely see it on yeah, your it's skin. Yeah, it's a luster, so it has like that sheen to it. Um, and when you put it on, it's just going to, it's almost like a gloss on your lips. It just adds like a sheen to your natural lip. So the next one that I have is Retro by MAC. And as you can see, this is pretty red. And you know what? I should clarify something because she actually just brought up a good point. Um, I wear more neutral yeah. lipsticks versus nude lipsticks. Yeah. And actually that's probably a good distinction. So nude where you want it to look more like your lips is not really my thing. But if I'm wearing, if I'm going out, I think when she was talking about we went out somewhere and I don't want to wear pink or I don't want to wear purple, I don't want to like have real or even really rich red, um, I'll grab one of these because it's just more toned down. And then I have Verve. And it, this one is a little bit more, this is actually, like that that yeah, pretty. this is definitely very neutral on your lips. It has more of a purple, it's pulling a little bit more blue, so it has more purpley looking in comparison to this one. This one's very red, um, but again, it's a great neutral. These are just the Butter Glosses by NYX, and these will just add a gloss to your lips. That's this one. That's pretty. Yeah, this one is more nude. Mm -hmm. And then this one is Praline, and this is actually one of my favorites. If I'm trying to go nude, but it doesn't have enough color to it, then I'll grab this. It pulls brownie. That's really pretty. That could be pretty purple. on its own. Yeah. So if I'm trying to go for that, then I would pull this because it gives all right, so I have a couple combinations because I do love nude lips, but the thing is with my nude lips, I use uh, two different lip liners depending on what color I'm going for. Um, chestnut is my staple, but chestnut I always put around, um, I line my lips and then I'll use the other, the other lipsticks. This is chestnut, so it's like a really, it's brown. It's pretty brown. Um, or cork, so cork. It's actually what I'm wearing today, cork. I'll tell you the combination I'm wearing today. I so like that's chestnut. Cork. Yeah, chestnut is um, brown, and then cork is more like tan, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's a little ashier. Yeah, so it depends on what I'm going for. So today I'm wearing cork, and I'm using Honey Love Lipstick by MAC. So I'll swatch it out. That's pretty pink, right? So that's why I use the chestnut to kind of blend those two together. And then once that's all nice and blended and you don't see a harsh line, I use see-through over on top mm -hmm. of it. So then another one that I like to use is from ColourPop. It's called Vice. It is matte, but I have to say I don't like a matte nude lip. Mm. I like it to be satin finish or um, sh glossy. So what I do with Vice, and when I put this on, you guys are gonna be like <gasps> <laughs> So I usually use chestnut to line my lips, and then I'll put on Vice. That's pretty bright, right? Um, and then I use Snob by MAC, and I'll put it over. The reason why I like to use a matte lipstick underneath my It Lasts Longer with Snob. Now, without it being blended, it is very pink, mm -hmm. but when you put use chestnut and you blend um, vice and um, chestnut together and then you put it over, it's a really pretty pink. Um, so that's the thing for me. Like I do use pretty light colors, but then I'll use a brown lip liner and blend it. 
blend, blend, blend. There should be no harsh lines. And for me, that's how I make lipsticks that are a little too light for my skin tone work by using um, cork or chestnut lip liner. So then, um, this is a lip gloss, and this is uh, from ColourPop, and it's Catalina. It was in our favorites video, and I will wear that by itself. It's beautiful. Very pretty. And last but not least, this one is pocket friendly for sure. This is by Revlon. It's 672 Brazilian Tan. Um, I love this color. <laughs> um, so the thing about nude lips brown beauties is that you need to find your best combination. Take in consideration the tint of your lips. For deeper skin tones, like Melissa said, you may want to go more of the neutral route mm -hmm. versus the nude right. route. Um, and it's all, honestly, you guys, it's trial and error. It's trial and error. It's trial and error. It's trying to figure it out. But if you get something that is too light, then you can always get a brown lip liner and make it work for you. So my thing is if I purchase something that looks good online and then it comes to me and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll use the brown lip liner and put a gloss over it and it works better for me like I can actually wear it so that's I don't actually feel a like... good tidbit because if I find if it's too like Barbie doll like a lot of hers they're scary because they're that Barbie doll yeah. pink and that's scary against dark skin tones but again a trick around that is using the the, the brown lip the, liners. thank you the brown lip liner which is something I actually never do like if it if it's too pink I'm like nope it's garbage this is not <laughs> we are going to do live swatches for you guys um just like we did with the red lips so you guys can actually see it on I'm so excited to try them on because you guys will actually be able to see that it, it honestly you guys she really it, they're so pretty so don't be scared don't buy be scared. the pink she will show you and you'll be like that is cute. I'm going to do it. I'm going yeah. to do it. Like, it really is really, really pretty. So stay tuned for that. Let us know what other swatches you would like to see Lip that swatches. are brown girl friendly. friendly. Ooh, our next one should be purple. That's what she's the queen of. I have way too many purple lipsticks. Way too many purple lipsticks, but we will do it if you would like them. Yes. Until next time. Bye. bye.